efforts to protect wetlands have yielded significant benefits, with research underscoring the importance of wetlands in preserving aquatic and bird species, mitigating pollution, and attenuating flood damage. Federal legislation has played a crucial role in safeguarding wetlands from agricultural and developmental encroachment, while private organizations have also contributed to wetland preservation, resulting in the conservation of over 12 million acres of wetlands. Another encouraging trend is the increasing adoption of energy-efficient vehicles among Americans. This shift contributes to reduced air pollution and diminishes reliance on foreign oil. The emergence of electric cars and vehicles powered by solar energy underscores the ongoing innovation in sustainable transportation solutions. Technology has revolutionized the landscape of education, reshaping traditional classroom dynamics. With widespread internet access and the prevalence of tablets and smartphones, students now have digital resources at their fingertips, supplanting printed materials. Additionally, Technological advancements facilitate immediate feedback on assignments, enhancing the learning experience. E-learning, characterized by the integration of electronic technology and education, has become commonplace in many U.S. schools. In particular, the concept of a flipped classroom highlights the significance of e-learning. In this model, instructional content is delivered online outside of class, allowing in-person class time to be dedicated to interactive activities, such as research, group projects, and discussions. While this approach has yielded positive outcomes, such as improved test scores, higher graduation rates, and increased college attendance in some institutions, challenges persist. Access to technology remains a barrier for students from economically disadvantaged backgrounds, limiting their ability to fully engage in e-learning initiatives. Moreover, some students may struggle with self-directed learning outside of the traditional classroom setting, hindering their academic progress. Addressing these disparities and ensuring equitable access to educational resources are essential for realizing the full potential of technology-enabled learning in modern education. School funding in the United States is primarily derived from local property taxes, leading to disparities in funding between affluent and impoverished areas. Schools in wealthier districts typically receive more funding, enabling them to offer a wider array of courses and maintain better facilities. Conversely, schools in economically disadvantaged areas may face budget constraints, resulting in cuts to essential programs such as music and art, larger class sizes, and deteriorating infrastructure. While the majority of children attend public schools, some opt for private secular or religious schools or receive homeschooling. Inequities in funding have sparked debates about school vouchers, with proponents arguing that vouchers promote competition and drive improvements in public education. However, critics contend that vouchers divert funds from public schools and may inadvertently support religious institutions, raising concerns about the separation of church and state. Student demographics vary widely with socioeconomic status playing a significant role in academic outcomes. Many students in low-income households qualify for free or reduced price lunches, highlighting the correlation between economic disadvantage and educational achievement. Additionally, the population of English language learners, ELL, is growing, necessitating additional resources for language instruction particularly in states with high concentrations of ELL students. Public schools are mandated by law to provide education for students with disabilities under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA, ensuring tailored support and accommodations for students with special needs. Improving public education remains a complex challenge with various proposals ranging from extending school days to reforming standardized testing. The No Child Left Behind Act, implemented in 2002, aimed to hold schools accountable for student performance through standardized testing. While this initiative achieved some progress, criticisms include a narrow focus on reading and math at the expense of other subjects and the potential for unfair evaluation of special education students. President Obama's Race to the Top initiative 
introduced in 2009, sought to incentivize schools for progress rather than penalize them for shortcomings. The escalating costs of higher education pose significant barriers to college access, with tuition fees and living expenses rising steeply in recent years. This financial burden often necessitates student loans and part-time employment, making college attendance increasingly challenging for many individuals. Addressing the affordability of higher education is essential for ensuring equitable access to post-secondary opportunities and fostering a more educated and skilled workforce. Globalization, driven by advancements in technology, communication, and transportation, has facilitated international integration by fostering the exchange of ideas, products, and cultural elements. While globalization presents opportunities for economic growth and innovation, it also poses challenges such as corporate dominance, job displacement, and trade conflicts. Multinational corporations often outcompete smaller businesses, leading to job losses and economic disruption as domestic companies relocate factories and hire workers abroad. However, globalization also creates employment opportunities through the expansion of international markets and the demand for new products and services. Technological advancements, particularly in computing and communication, have revolutionized industries and reshaped the workforce. Computers enable seamless information sharing and facilitate remote work through networks while devices like laptops and cell phones enable flexible working arrangements. Outsourcing tasks to foreign countries has become commonplace, further reshaping the global labor market. Economic globalization is closely tied to free trade policies, where governments refrain from restricting imports or exports. Free trade promotes comparative advantage allowing nations to specialize in producing goods with lower opportunity costs than others. However, conflicts arise as companies compete for resources, trade routes, and market share. Trading blocs such as NAFTA and the European Union aim to reduce trade barriers among member countries, fostering economic cooperation and integration. Key economic competitors to the United States include OPEC, which wields significant influence over global oil prices, and the European Union, a formidable trade alliance and political ally. The United States has sought to mitigate OPEC's influence by increasing domestic oil production, thereby reducing its reliance on imported oil. The European Union, comprising 28 member countries, facilitates the free movement of goods, services, capital, and people among its members, contributing to economic prosperity and political cooperation within the region. Despite the opportunities and challenges posed by globalization, it remains a dynamic force shaping the global economy and society. Economic globalization has brought both benefits and challenges to countries like India and Bangladesh. While it has created new job opportunities, particularly in manufacturing sectors, these jobs often come with low wages and poor working conditions. In some cases, labor exploitation, including child labor akin to slavery, persists, highlighting the ethical concerns associated with globalization. American workers have also felt the impact of economic globalization, with jobs being outsourced to countries where labor costs are lower. This phenomenon has contributed to job losses and heightened competition in the domestic job market, particularly in industries vulnerable to outsourcing. Moreover, globalization has had environmental ramifications, prompting discussions and initiatives to address issues such as air and water pollution. Agreements like the Kyoto Protocol aim to mitigate climate change by regulating greenhouse gas emissions. While some Americans support such international efforts, others oppose them, citing concerns about sovereignty and the influence of industries like fossil fuels. Divergent laws and practices across countries present ethical dilemmas for businesses operating globally. While certain practices may be legal in one country, they may be considered unethical elsewhere. For instance, subcontractors operating under sweatshop conditions or with lax safety standards may not violate local laws. 
but their practices may face scrutiny and backlash from consumers in countries with stricter regulations. In some cases, companies may choose to engage in unethical practices, such as exploiting workers in countries with poor human rights records or resorting to bribery due to corruption. Such behaviors underscore the importance of corporate social responsibility and ethical decision-making in the context of economic globalization. Globalization has had a profound impact on international politics, particularly through the dissemination of ideas via digital platforms such as blogs and social media. Technology has empowered discontented individuals to organize and lead dissent movements as seen in Egypt's 2011 rebellion, which was largely coordinated through online channels. Cultural diffusion, facilitated by globalization, refers to the spread of ideas, customs, and values from one culture to another. While cultural exchange traditionally occurred through travel and immigration, the advent of the internet has accelerated this process, enabling instant connections between people from diverse cultures. Popular culture, encompassing elements like music, fashion, and entertainment, has experienced rapid global dissemination due to the internet, movies, and television. American pop culture, in particular, has reached audiences worldwide, fostering greater interconnectedness and access to diverse cultural expressions. One notable example of cultural diffusion is the global spread of hip-hop music and culture. Originating in New York City in the 1970s, hip-hop gained popularity across the United States before transcending borders through films like Wild Styles in the 1980s. In subsequent decades, hip-hop became a global phenomenon, with companies leveraging its popularity to market products. As hip-hop culture proliferated worldwide, it evolved as different countries infused their own cultural elements into it. The internet has played a pivotal role in facilitating communication and collaboration within the global hip-hop community with video sharing platforms serving as conduits for the dissemination of new music and cultural expressions across borders.